We saw in our previous videos that it is very difficult to increase our curvature ductility in a singly reinforced section. Uh, we can try decreasing our reinforcement ratio, but will lead to uh, strength limitations. We can try increasing our concrete compressive strength, uh, but we're going to, in, at the same time, decrease our beta 1. In this video, we're going to look at how doubly reinforced sections uh, will offer improved curvature ductility performance. We saw before that we can represent our curvature ductility using this expression in the top right corner, and this is going to be our starting point for a derivation here. We'll first look at the forces in our cross section. Um, so, as before, we'll have our concrete compressive force, um, which we can represent by the this, this stress distribution. We'll have our steel tension force, and then we'll now have a compressive force in our uh, top steel. For simplicity, we're going to assume that our top steel and our bottom steel have both yielded. And we'll look at this how this assumption affects things a little later. So as before, our first step is to use equilibrium. So we'll set tension equal to compression. In this case, our tension is our bottom steel ASFY and our compression now is A prime and F prime plus uh, 0 0.85 F prime C B times beta 1 C. Once again we can divide by BD to give us reinforcement ratios and then simplify. We can then solve for C and we'll get our C equal to rho minus rho prime times FYD divided by 0.85 F prime C beta 1. So this is our now our C value. For simplicity, we're going to assume that our expression that we found for K um, for yield doesn't change from before. And this will be true uh, within about 10 to 15%. Uh, when we substitute all these values in uh, to our expression for curvature ductility, uh, we'll get the expression shown here. And this is making the, uh, the same assumption um, in terms of uh, n rho as we did in our last derivation. Um, and what I want you to focus on, and, and the only real difference between this expression and the one we had before, uh, is this term at the bottom uh, to taking into account our reinforcement ratio. Uh, so what you can see is if we increase our compression reinforcement, we are going to increase our curvature ductility. Um, so in this simple approximate expression, uh, if we were to have a reinforcement ratio of the compression steel equal uh, to our reinforcement um, ratio of the tension steel, then we could um, essentially get a curvature ductility that would approach um, infinity, so an infinitely ductile section. Um, so note that this is not valid um, because of our one assumption. Uh, because we assumed that uh, our FS prime will yield and at higher reinforce or higher compression reinforcement ratios um, this will not be the case. Uh, but it, it's a good thing you can see that um, increasing our compression steel will increase our curvature ductility and uh, this, this will uh, always be true.